Good morning, Team Mars Smash. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to another vlog. So, guys, we're all the way upstairs right now where we're putting up our falls work. We're putting up the decking to support our casting next week. And as you can see, all of them sections the one I see are going to fill because we don't want to feel bleed. So I talk about here the rain, the rain has started. The rain has attended the past every single day for the past two weeks or so. And uh, we still see if we can get this decking done before because we chopped them everything already. Plan a date, we already scheduled a date and uh, we still hope we on schedule. Complete side of the unit. Oh, well, it's supposed to dig some of there, so for the pond in here, so you know, from a couple of days now because the water pond right here, so as it is not yet closed, so it is that they close it for or still dig the hole or one man will come around here, little by little, and I'll peel out water. So, as you can see, over this side, it's still a work in progress. Got some extra plies and I try to finish up, however. Um, this is what, what we have the so far, which is not bad. So let's try to stretch everything. As I, as you can see, if you look at all of them board here, you see screws, 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 screws. The only thing the screws, the only thing the screws can't do, I put up the deck in itself, cause when I pull that down, I don't know who I go spend the time on. Pull, 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 screw. So we use the screw them for all our farm work, but the decking now kind of nail. Nail up, nail up. Therefore, um, a lot of these materials don't go to waste, and we get to reuse every single ply. No, like, bah, give and take um, one and two ply, not make it, but in terms of the lumbers, get to use a lot of these lumbers again and again and again. So even after this site, some of these lumber material can be transferred to another site once permission is granted. Yep, one of the sections that the suffix board don't go up as yet. Another section where in which not even the joists is then gone up. Still think we're on target in regards to being able to cast next week. But if you look right there, you can see that the reinforcement has commenced for the slab. And uh, we're gonna have a look at that. If you wanted to know the spacing of the joists, my heat use two foot, my like me 16 inches apart. Tight and especially if you slab of this magnitude, this size. When this slab is done or the reinforcement side of it is complete you guys are going to see the difference with this from the last slab for the first floor and at the same guys I'm gonna do it so guys on this the bottom bar we're gonna have both spaces depending upon what size rebar we are use because the part where the pool I go I go have a closer space than the rest of the slab where nothing else not really go on it like live load or dead load that's the slab itself the self load so where the pool is going to be which is in there so we are going to go 
with 150 millimeter which is six inch and um, the rest of it is 200 mm as you can see from the first stages we're not going to use no more false wall or nothing like that the mistake we then did have was i'm showing you, the mistake that was on the slab previous to this one was that the bottom bars weren't going to tie onto the belt beam so we did have the bottom bars some so at some parts the the decking come up too much and the bottom bars them now go fit underneath it and of course we need coverage so we can't have it too tight so have to put it up here so so we'd have to create the the false beam now to um control that so no you see that now those mistakes aren't repeated everything under and it is important to have the hook ends so with, with this slab now we are going to have the extra bars only one way two way they intend to kind of practice the bent up bar method but now for the most part and it is common with the the extra bars so we're going to look at the lapping and the the lapping zones if you guys do construction and you find yourself doing anything for doing reinforcement you should know everything on my talk about otherwise and that kind of go work on your knowledge you know your era of expertise or your skill area everybody like lap over beam right yeah safest place but um it is also important to know how the load are transferred or the stresses them where and where them them apply on the slab and you know what type of stress here so versus in there so what type of moments what type of all of them look at something that therefore you can't even without nobody telling you how for position the steel no where for position the steel without anybody showing you how to arrange the steel based by your knowledge you could come up with something for arrange the steel and make sure so the slab is done correctly so i remember in the last vlog with the slab is being cast we made a show in the reinforcement so i need to say we never go back to show you know, what was being corrected and things like that ah sometimes something slip me people and truth be told and everything in a construction can be put out dear car too much too much people are going to judge so and every method too much people are going to judge so i kind of just cheer as much as i can i still try my best to keep some my day you know what do you call it you now? The cheats or the you know some skill where guys them when show me or what they want to keep to themselves how they how them rectify certain things. Kinda wanna keep that private. Um because that's something where you wanna have unique within your your project team and um yeah just something me decided for hold on point for yourself. However I can show the years or so when I not get for say all sort of things that shall not show no nothing and probably we never fix it or nothing like that because people like the proof so on the last slab we did have some 5 8 steel and all of them every single one of them did lap over the beam because everybody likes to lap over the beam regardless once you lap over the beam you feel like you're safe but just imagine these two bars are lap and this are provide the punching sheer force in between it, it can legit put stress upon them here and kind of push these apart and uh, lengthen out the the lap even though most of the punching force occur up on the extra bar the top bar but as you can see guys i prefer this then my lap again give me a straight one lap again give me a straight instead of everything i lap here so everything could have lap at this junction right here so i am not a fan of that even the lumbers the joists try my best not lap at the same point because those points are weak points and once you cut the steel like when you cut and lap of steel this this member becomes weaker than this member at all times so guys based on what i am seeing not much is needed to be corrected if not none no need to correct me see one zone i'm gonna like and um that's about it you know done shown again here says where the pool is going to be heavily reinforced a slab is going to go on top of our slab because the pool of you have a very strong base the pool columns and it's going to be an infinity pool guys it's going to look amazing 
are amazing. A pool on top of ours, just picture that, picture that, that. So in this area, it's going to be the 15 mm steel girth and uh, 150 millimeters apart for this entire zone right here so big pool big 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 pool also have a, a pool team a different um a different team is going to come into the pool but not because somebody builds a house or knows to put up regular wall or knows to you know flash a wall means he knows to build a pool and I always advise people get pool experts to do in a pool no shortcut the game i tell you the truth remedial works on a pool is not cheap is not cheap so get it done good from morning spending a little extra money most man regardless of your size they want to fling your figure a five million dollar for build a pool regardless <laughs> get it done by people who specialize in a pool pool contractors <laughs> This chase is for the AC unit, which would be above the door. We, oui. yeah, guys. So a lot of work is going on on the inside. But we will not film that. I'm gonna try to save that for like one um, video in itself. I'm gonna show the finished uh, section of the house, which is a uh, one-bedroom apartment. And uh, I'm gonna make one video itself, a spicy video for sure, like in result. Right now, the title of them in the bathroom. I install the wall tiles, the floor finish and uh, the ceiling is um, somewhat complete and uh, yeah the ball is rolling we're just working on the outside and these vlogs are going to continue to be outside of finishing for now and then our final video I'm going to have capture all our finishing and it's going to be nice because just nice just nice it's going to be nice because just nice so guys, we'll leave in sight now and we'll pick up this vlog tomorrow in Kingston as we'll be tile shopping. And I feel like a nick snack, so I'm gonna look on some different fixtures or iron mongre. And look at thing we can put inside of our house, but mainly tiles. Yes. So guys, we're now inside. Give me another one again. Oh, please. Uh, bigger tiles over here. And of course, the leaves. Mm. Done. Are oh, these? Mm. You like this? This is more glaze, no? Is it? Mm. It's porcelain floor tiles. I don't like that guys, what do you think? A tile shop. I want tile project coming up. Uh, design uh, everything. So shop with me. What do you guys think about the black? Too creep. What do you think about the black? <laughs> the creep? Can't do too much of black. Probably like a, a bathroom. A big one here, a uh, black tail. Okay. Mosaic. Again, okay, it's a splash accent. Mm. Copyright, copyright. Too much music, too much music. Inspiration. So we are 
we're going around the back. So we're going for tell it and probably vanities. You know, so I recently we bought purchase of vanity. So we could find a nice one or end up buy a used one. That's how terrible the market is right now. I don't want this. One hundred and sixty-nine thousand. Eighty-nine thousand. Really like this one? No, oh, that's just stuff. Everything was just stuff. So more inspiration for the vanities cabin. Next. A mm. hundred thousand Jamaican dollars. Which is about eight hundred dollars US. So guys, this is our first tally. On your can uh <laughs> It's it's for those who are lazy and for that with you pay a fine a hefty one. And these are the garden bar tops. Sick yo. I love I, I, I have always been interested in a garden bath Queen Wow guys we can't wait to show you the bathroom that we are designing we, we use we are use these type of glass we can sit through as well um, but for now them kind of put our rod on the inside and you guys can't wait for to get design your guys' bathroom as well. It's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be fun. Please use handrails. Are you dumb? You nice or something? Oh bro. So guys, it's just taking a second to look at the lights as well. And uh, we are off. Final stop for the day. Let's go. So, guys, I'm in creative and I almost forgot to film. I feel this with another tile, but I did see over active. And um, one of these as the accent wall. Those are wall tiles. So there's really three bathrooms. I'm gonna try to see what type of inspirations I can come up with. But it's something similar to that. Uh, guys, this is a project and I love the challenge. Yeah, team, I smash a finish with creative and we are head out now. Made a hurt me meet once from morning and I believe it is fair enough to call it a day. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am tuning out. See you guys in my next vlog as it will be nothing but entertainment. Team I smash, I am up.